Buenos dias. Good morning, Good morning, friends. Hello. We are back. My name is Jackie. And I'm Dave. And this is Blissin' Out. Out. So happy to be here. Thank you for joining us this morning. Coming in live with our amazing show where we like to talk about our awesome project, Karma Tribe, which is an online gifting economy that we're creating, as well as talk about themes of great importance, Dave. Yes. Tell us more. Yes, indeed, Jackie. Every week, 8.30 a.m., we invite interesting guests, we delve into deep themes that affect everyone's life, and we expose some astonishing favors on our website, karmatribe.com, where you can offer and request free services. Yes. And I guess it's a network of people that enjoy helping each other for free. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Higher level consciousness. You just give from the heart whatever you have to offer, whatever calls to you, uh, and also receive without worrying about it because the world is full of abundance, Dave. Exactly. Amazing. Everyone has talents. Everyone has needs. Yeah. So we're trying to bring these two groups together. Yeah. Big shout out to our viewers. I've missed you. I missed last week's show and I've missed you all, but I am back in action, of course. And uh, another shout out to this amazing man whose cumpleaños birthday was yet, was two days ago. Yes. So happy birthday to Dave. I just turned 30. And uh, I hope uh, the viewers will understand if I uh, say that I'm a little bit hungover because last <laughs> night we had a big party in my house with over... Uh, 30 or so people and live music and Great. many karma tribers. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, so good morning to Jack Niel. Great to see you tuning in, my friend, and good morning to Liz. Good morning, Liz. Good morning, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, this is We're great. so excited today. It feels... This is a fresh morning. This is a beautiful day. And again, just so nice to be back here on Bliss and Out. It's one of my favorite parts of my life. Um, so thank you all so, so very much. Dave... Tell me, what is the topic for today, man? Well, the topic today, Jackie, is perspective. And how perspective changes everything. Perspective is very powerful. Yes. And it's, it's like the glass half full, glass half empty. There's always two ways one can look at a situation. Definitely. And, uh, well, what about you, Jackie? I know that you, uh, you always try to put a positive spin on things. Uh, what kind of what kind of practices do you do in terms of perspective? Well, that I do, Dave. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, it's it's uh, definitely takes practice. However, things that I do to help me gain a perspective um, and try to keep a positive outlook on life. Well, the first thing that came to my mind was breathing, taking deep breaths, and I think the power of of having a perspective is uh, maybe i want to say like an eagle eye perspective is really important because you can kind of take yourself out of any situation look at it from an eagle eye point of view and uh, by the way sorry shout out to edies hi edies good morning blessings to you so and good yeah. morning to kai was too great hey, to kai have was. you friend what a, such a regular so beautiful um, so yeah, as I was saying, perspective, Dave, mm -hmm. really important to take yourself out of the situation. If, if it's a confrontation or anything that's bothering you, look at it from an mm -hmm. eagle eye point so of view. Sometimes you look at it like, like this. Sometimes you look at it even look farther above, like this. even farther above at times. And it's, you know, and it makes your problems seem so much more more manageable and so tiny. Maybe if you look at things from a, from an eagle eye point of view, you don't even see things as problems anymore. Um, and how to do this, I personally love to take deep breaths. Maybe it sounds cliche, but taking deep breaths will change everything. Um, and then trying to take yourself out of the situation. If you meditate, this is a perfect practice to get, to get uh, perspective on things. The power of trying to see things in many different angles, right? Perspective. You mm -hmm. can look at I don't know, a tree, see it from one angle and analyze it in that way, or walk around the tree and see a completely different tree, right? It's the same with everything. Um, and so I think it's really important to, to consider and take the time, mm -hmm. breathe, take yourself out of the situation, yeah. and reevaluate. And not, not jump to conclusions too quickly about yes. the state of affairs. I'm reminded of an ancient Zen Buddhist story here, Jackie. Oh, please Ancient share. Ancient Chinese story of the farmer 
who has his, uh, his mare, you know, a female horse, his mare runs away. And the other farmers come visit him and they say, oh, your mare ran away. Oh, what a stroke of misfortune. Oh, I'm so sorry. Say. And the farmer, he just sits there and he says, whether this is good or bad, who knows? Then, a couple days later, the mare comes back, accompanied by two stallions. Wow. Mm. And so the farmers, uh, the neighbor farmers say, Oh, look, you have two stallions now. This is so lucky. You are the luckiest man. What a blessing. And the yes. farmer says, Ah, good news, bad news, who knows? Then, the very next day, the farmer's son goes out on one of the stallions and ends up having an accident and breaking his leg. And, uh, Ooh. yeah, and Tough so break. he's, he's incapacitated and then the neighbors come back again. They say, oh, your son has broken his leg. This is, you're not going to have him for the, uh, the, this season. It's so unlucky. And again, the farmer says, well, whether it's good or bad, who knows? Then, uh, the government comes in and decides to conscript all the eldest sons from all the families to go fight in a war. And the son, because his leg is broken, does not have to go fight in the war. And so his life ends up being saved. So that's just one example. Incredible. Of how you have to be patient before j jumping to judgment because whether a thing is good or bad, time will tell. I agree. I love the farmer's neutral perspective. He, he's, he's not excited nor disappointed. Yeah. in what happens to him and this is a great zen tale because it teaches us to yeah kind of wait it out dave the, the yeah. idea of time and letting things settle out i think there's a saying like letting the dust settle and then evaluate it yeah right uh maybe it seems like there's an explosion maybe something bad happens maybe you know you lose your job or something and it seems like just the complete end of the world mm -hmm. in the moment well mm -hmm. here's the thing like the farmer let the dust settle Imagine all of the puertas, the doors that are going to mm. open after that. And I, I really respect that as well because it also goes along with kind of a yogic philosophy, Dave, of taking your, being the observer, being the observer of your life, being the observer of your body, um, and trying not to let the mind fluctuate so much. So something great happens, uh, you can celebrate, woo, yes but then come back to the ground. If something mm -hmm. bad happens, all right, you can take a moment and be like, whoa, my gosh, I can't believe this, but then come back to the ground. And I think that helps us stay leveled, stay in the moment, continue in our journey in a positive way. Yeah. Um, and to me, yeah, the farmer, his neutral perspective, whether good or bad, just really, that's really, really inspiring. So, so important for perspective. So. Absolutely. Personally, uh, well, I don't know, Dave, have you have, have you had any experiences in, in perspective and yeah. how changing your perspective can yeah. change so everything? I, I always try to really look at the positive side of things and, uh, it, it, it has worked well for me. Uh, I remember when I was traveling in my Volkswagen van named <laughs> Olivia with my good friend, Alan, <laughs> we were traveling through the desert. This was after college and we were in a scalding hot desert town and we pulled into this little gas station. We were pouring sweat, pouring sweat. The sun was just uh, sizz making the concrete sizzle. And we started filling up the van and uh, kind of started walking away. And then I looked back and I noticed that gasoline was pouring out of underneath the vehicle and it was pouring out of kind of of the gas station area and it was getting into the sunlight and the, the concrete was like sizzling hot and the gasoline was just like spreading all over the ground. And I was Ooh. like, oh my God. Danger, danger, So I danger. dove under the vehicle and I, into the gasoline and grabbed the tube and held it uh, closed. And I uh, started feeling suddenly very nauseous and my skin was like starting to form a rash and I was feeling absolutely horrible. Wow. But I was able to maintain the gasoline under control. And uh, so that was a pretty miserable moment, a low point of the trip, arguably. Definitely. Just oh. being covered in gasoline, our tubes were disintegrating in the middle of the desert. But even then, we were like, oh, well, everything happens for a reason. And wow. at the store, where we have got the replacement tube, we met a young man who ended up inviting us over to his house. 
and making some stickers that said Olivia, some custom-made stickers that we then what? put on our vehicle. <laughs> and then we met his family, and they gave us this bed that you could unfold and that we were able to camp with. And then the rest of our trip, what? we had stickers, we had a bed, and we had all these new friends that we had made from that circumstance. So Just, It's amazing. Wow, So, man. yeah, every challenge can have a positive side as long as you're patient and you're not, like basically like blocked by your own mind from yes. seeing the positive side right like easily you guys could have just let that destroy your day just like oh this trip is just terrible it was a terrible idea um however you know you just let it settle out and then you saw kind of the universe or whatever it is right sending you positive reinforcement and gifts afterwards and and, and it did it took a spin for the positive and i think that's so beautiful it's absolutely beautiful beautiful something negative turns into something positive yeah. and as you've said before something negative can turn into you know a blessing or a lesson which yeah. i really love that that's yeah. an amazing perspective for me and yeah and i the story also comes to mind of my first public speaking experiment experience where i basically practiced for many days and memorized the speech and then went to deliver it in front of some investors for a competition and i forgot my lines and it was so embarrassing, and uh, yeah, it was a horrible experience. But from there, I decided to really learn about the teachings from that experience, and I learned that I should prepare differently, and I learned that, uh, yeah, basically I learned some important lessons there, and then when I came back and did it again the next year, I kicked ass. Ten times more rewarding so and beautiful. I, th beautiful. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I took... Uh, the, exper the experience as a teaching and didn't let it like traumatize me. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I've, uh, I've also had a potentially traumatizing experience as well, Dave, um, that caused me to gain perspective eventually. Um, I, pff, I don't know, it had to be a couple years ago, maybe two, three years ago. I bought my first surfboard, a longboard, and I was ready to take it upon myself to teach myself to surf, but alone. I'm like, I'm going to do this by myself. No problem. Um, and I had this beautiful longboard. I was so excited. And I, one day I was walking home from work and I just went to Por La Playa and I'm like, Oh, I saw some beautiful waves, some surfers out there. And I was like, today's the day. Today's the day. I'm going to surf. I'm going to teach myself. So I just got home, grabbed my board, paddled out. And with all the, the inspiracion and ganas in the mundo, right? And I'm just you know, ready to paddle out well, I mean, turns out it was the biggest swell of the year and the waves were huge. I mean, from, from the shore, it's like, oh, these waves look really fun to surf on. And, you know, I didn't have the education to think about it or check online or, you know, see how hard the waves were crashing down. So here I'm paddling out and I just get hammered by these waves, man, one after another. And I was a total newbie. I was a total newbie on the surfing front. And I end, let, next thing you know, guys, next thing you know, I am beached, laying on the rocks of the beach. It was raining season, so there were a bunch of rocks on the beach, and I'm just beached. I look over at my surfboard, and I'm like, what just happened? I have just ate it totally. My fins had fallen off. I lost two fins that day, and I was just... Can you believe what just happened? So I grabbed my board and I was so upset. I ran back to my house. Um, it turns out like I had a cut on my face that I didn't even know about. And I was just like, what has happened? I'm never surfing again. That was so traumatizing and horrible. Um, but something told me to persist, right? Uh, and I decided that I'm not going to let that get me down. So what did I learn from this? Well, one, respect the ocean, right? And that mm -hmm. is one of the biggest lessons any surfer will tell you. Respect the ocean. Be prepared. And so many lessons have come from that. I learned how to change fins and the surfboard. That's a good one. Um, learned how to read the ocean a little bit better. And I think that's, that's taught me, again, the most important lesson, which is respect the ocean. And, you know, something that, that taught, like, that could have just kept me from surfing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like an experience like that could just, just keep you down. But now I'm, like, surfing every single day if I can, happily, with all of the most positive experiences. And I'm so glad that I didn't let that, that hold me down at yeah. all, you know? And I think back at that and I think, wow, kind of, what an idiot. But at the same time, 
I, I learned so much from that. So I will be absolutely grateful for that experience and just, yeah, just learning every day, guys. Have a perspective. And I think one of the keys is give it time, okay? Good, mm. bad, we don't know yet. And we don't know, maybe not reacting in the yeah. moment, right? Reacting in a positive or negative exactly. way. Just let the dust settle, guys. Well, the emperor, Marcus Aurelius, who is a stoic, he said that things are neither good nor bad. All depends on how you interpret them. Absolutely. I think that's very true. I think that's so true, too. And who doesn't deserve to live in a more positive way, right? If we, we all deserve to live in a positive way. So if we just take our experiences and use them to learn and try to have a positive perspective on, on everything, it sounds cheesy. Uh, some people think that it was like super cheesy. But honestly, guys, it's so worth it. And... It's gonna change. It's gonna change your life to live in this positive way. And tell me, Dave. I got. Go ahead. No, no. What Question. How does this relate to Karma Tribe, well, Dave? Well, I was just gonna say <laughs> that if you're just joining us now, we have a project called Karma Tribe. KarmaTribe.com is a Woo. place where you can offer and request free services uh, with good people around the world. So, so yeah. Speaking of living in a positive way, Karma Tribe is a way that you can share your gifts, share your love. Myself, uh, I love uh, surfing, I love speaking French, so those are some things that I offer on Karma Tribe, and it's a pleasure to connect with people and help them. And yes. uh, yeah, I guess you could say it's a network of people that enjoy helping each other. Yes. And so it's so great to see all these people tuning in. Good morning, Sarah. Uh, I see Maureen just joined. Good morning. Yes, good morning, everyone. We Hey, we love to hear where you're from, so if you want to put in the comments where you're from, that would be awesome. Absolutely. Yes. And, uh, yeah, another thought on the perspective thing, I was just thinking of the surfing uh, analogy, and I was thinking in surfing, a lot of times you're just, you're doing duck dives, and you're trying to swim out past the break, and you see all these waves just crashing on you, and sometimes it's just the difference of like one little... Uh, a few millimeters even of a duck dive to get out behind the last wave and then you're home free in the, in the calm blue. Wow. So life is kind of like that where you never, maybe you're a lot closer to your goal than you think. Uh, yes. And it's just a matter of persevering a little bit more. Or, or tweaking it just a tiny bit. I love that. It's a matter of a couple millimeters. Yeah. Um, maybe in your mind it's a matter of a couple just tweaks there and then all of a sudden... You're in a positive world. Surfing, and yeah. often I find, is a great metaphor. Yeah. So for life. sometimes, like you have the bombs that are falling on your head, the bombs of life, but you're yeah. pr you're actually really close to the clear. Uh, and in a few minutes, the bombs will calm down, and you'll have the path to the clear. Uh, so good. The clear area. So uh, yeah, life is like that, isn't it, Jack? It really is. It really is. And I also think, doesn't it make us stronger if we're having challenges? If we're you know, having seemingly negative experiences. One, how we said before, it's going to teach us a lesson. And two, it's going to make us stronger people, you know, stronger, ready to persevere more and, and enjoy life more. Because I often find that people who have met great challenges and then have recovered and recuperated and, and found kind of their groove after that, are some of the most wise, pleasurable people to be around. Yeah, exactly. It's amazing. So, guys, really take a lesson from this. I mean, it's so beautiful, you know, to, to learn and to learn from ex your own experience in your own life. So another thing that I was thinking about, Dave, was that, um, like, often we get so caught up in, like, the grind of our, of our day and the grind of work, mm -hmm. maybe, if you're not liking your job, if you're feeling, you know... Like you're in the same stuff, different day, routine, mm -hmm. and you're kind of miserable and feeling like, oh, this is lame, you know? Um, one thing that we can do, too, is try to do something every day for ourselves, something that we really enjoy, right? Whether it's just, I don't know, for me, it would be something like going and touching the ocean every single day um, or sitting down and having a coffee every single day and just really enjoying and internalizing mm -hmm. that positive experience. And I find that you know, really being there in the present causes us then to later throughout the day recognize more positive things. And again, that just expands. Your, your positivity just expands. Yeah. What would you do, Dave, if you were, you know, like hustling around and you just needed like a moment to yourself or a couple moments? What would you choose to do if you had the, if 
you well, have a choice, which you always do. The, uh, uh, what comes to mind, actually, Jackie, is lately I've been getting a lot of pleasure in cleaning my house nice. and uh, taking care of my, my nest, taking mm -hmm. care of my dojo. And I feel that, uh, yeah, so sometimes I'm in the hustle bustle of I have, you know, my regular job and karma tribe and this, that, and friends arriving, friends leaving. So sometimes I just take some time to just clean up my house and clean up my mind because uh, the two are very correlated. And that feels really good. And even though I, sometimes I feel like I don't even have time to do it, I, I make time because it has many benefits. It feels good. Definitely. Great lesson to learn. Uh, if you know me, you know this is not one of my strengths, so please teach me your ways, sir. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I agree. Although I, the Jack Shack has been looking really clean lately. The Jack Shack! That's my house, by the way, yes. Um, it's been looking really clean. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm working yeah. on it. And it does feel good. It's like treating yourself well. Yeah. It's treating yourself well. It's giving yourself a gift. Yeah. And, and it does help, you know, if something bad does happen or if you had a rough day at work, que rico llegar a casa limpia, you know, to, to arrive to your house super clean. Wow. It's, it's almost like a cleanse of the brain right there. Oh, yeah. We deserve that. We deserve Absolutely. that. Yes. And you know what else we deserve, Jackie? Some favors. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. We deserve to see what's going on in the Karma Tribe Project, what kind of acts of kindness people are offering, what kind of things people are requesting. I'm really excited because we have some fantastic favors. And uh, yeah, Karma Tribe has been growing at an increasing rate. Yes. We have more and more people joining. We're almost to 1,800 members, and these wow. favors are brand new. Yes. And uh, we have my stepsister, Claire, tuning in from Montreal. Good morning, Ooh, Claire. Good so morning, nice Claire. To see you. What's up, hermana? Oh, I had the pleasure of meeting Claire. What a yeah. sweetheart. What a uh, sweetheart. Nice to, nice to see you, love. Yeah, she's she's trying to figure out what university she's going to go to. That's why mm. she's uh, touring Montreal right oh, now. Oh, fantastic. Good for you. So, so, guys, just a little taste of the abundance that's alive on Karma Tribe right now. Um, some really inspiring things. This is just the things. tip of the iceberg, folks. Yes, tip of the iceberg. Um, so, guys, just keep in mind, a lot of these favors are available online as well as in person. So if it's not necessarily in your area, feel free to contact these people and see if you can get the favor online. Um, that's the beauty of our website is that you can kind of pretty much get anything online or in person, search by category, search by location, enjoy the website. It's for you. Um, it's for you. It's for us. It's for everyone. So um, I'm kind of blissing out right now. I'm feeling really good. <laughs> I'm I feeling really great. <laughs> um, First and foremost, we have a favor by Riley in Los Angeles, California. This is pretty cool, guys. He's actually requesting freestyle lessons. Rap. Yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, shout out to Riley, by the way. I got the pleasure to see him the other day. What's up, dude? He says, I need someone to teach me how to freestyle. Wow. Yeah, Somebody really get cool. on there. Get and on I there. I love how he says, I need, need someone to teach me how to freestyle. This kid needs to freestyle. He must have seen our episode on being crystal clear with your uh, intentions and manifesting your dreams. Riley, you're going to manifest some great freestyling skills, my brother. Yes. Next. And good morning to Julie tuning in from Georgia. So awesome to have you here. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's such a pleasure to see you. And if you're giving likes and hearts, we're seeing all of those shoot across the screen yeah. and it's so beautiful. So thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be back. All right, What's Dave. Next What's next here? Hmm. Destiny will reveal itself. Destiny. I have a favor. Ooh. What do we got? What do we got? We have Luna mm. in Jaco, Costa Rica, offering hip hop classes. She says, I want you to learn some hip hop. Ooh. This is dancing. Hip hop really? dance. This is amazing. Guys. Thanks for all the likes, guys. It's so beautiful. <laughs> If there's anyone in the Haku area wanting to learn hip hop, this is a spectacular opportunity because Luna is actually a famous dancer. She's been on many commercials. She's wow. been on Dancing with the Stars, I believe. And uh, yeah, so that's a very special opportunity. Wow. That's really cool. Hip hop dance? I think I might take that one up. I used to dance okay. a bit back in my day. 
Uh, nice to brush up, though. That's a cool favor. Yeah. Cool favor. Good morning, Karina. Thanks for joining us. Karina, what's up? What's up? What's up? Pura vida. All right, next, we have a favor by Guillermo07 from San Jose, Costa Rica. And he is offering Espanol, Buena Vibra. Spanish, good vibes. I love it. He says, I offer my services as, as, a, Spanish, as a Spanish teacher for those who would like to learn. Pura Vida. Wow. Spanish with Buena Vibra. Not yeah. only a language, yeah. but great vibes coming your way. Yeah. Well, that's important to me when I'm looking for a language class. I always like to have the very best vibes. Of course. So... A, a teacher with good package. vibes. A teacher with good vibes. Can't go wrong there. Ah, uh, look wrong. at that kind message look from the, Franco. Ah, oh, good vibes for you guys uh, and all the people. Pura Vida. And Pura Vida to you guys on this beautiful Sunday morning. Yeah, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's our pleasure to be with you. KarmaTribe.com is our amazing project. Feel free to check it out. If you haven't registered for this project, you must do You're it. You're missing out. You're missing out on, on a world of abundance. And... Very inspiring, even just to go read on there um, and just scroll, yeah. you know, and check it out. It's, there it's, are it's hundreds nice. of things offered by generous people, and some of them are really amazing. Yes, it's very true. Is it you? Me? You go ahead, go let's for go, it. Go. Yeah, what's next? For example, on Karma Tribe, active right Epa. now. What do we got? We have Andrew Abundance mm -hmm. in Hakoko Srika. This is a local favor. He's offering. Sunrise Yoga on the Beach. Ooh. He says, Join me for a refreshing and enlightening 60 minutes of gentle yoga. No experience necessary. Everybody is welcome, even children. Oh, fantastic. Sunrise Yoga, beautiful. What a way yeah. to start your morning. We've and talked before about a great way to start the morning. Yeah. Yoga Yoga's on the right beach. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Yes. I, yeah, that's... I think many people, maybe when they're in their offices in uh, in uh, wintry uh, Buffalo, New York, or wherever they are, <laughs> they dream of maybe one day doing yoga on the beach. And uh, here you have someone offering it for free, so join seize em. the favor. Join is it Andrew Abundance? Yeah, Andrew Abundance. Thank you so much. What a beautiful favor. What yeah, a beautiful that's favor. Amazing. I want to shout out to Stephanie Krista there who just joined us. Nice to see your name, girl. Miss ya. Pura vida. All right, dude. So next next uh, favor we have here is an offer from Mosin uh, Arabic, Arabic English Exchange. This is cool. I can help you improve your Arabic through a language exchange. Arabic English language exchange, guys. Wow. Available. Very beautiful. That's Thank really you. Cool. Thank you, thank you. What a nice wow. favor. Seems intimidating to try to learn Arabic, but um, but with some one-on-one -on -one assistance. What do you have to lose? It's free, man. Yeah. What do you have to lose? Check it out. Exactly. See what's up. Absolutely. What's next Thanks for here? joining us, everyone. Yeah. This is so such a nice. So great to have you here. So nice. Mm. Ooh. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? We have an offer here. From Arnold Arroyo Soto, and actually, I think I heard, saw him leave a comment earlier, so maybe he's still watching. In Alajuela, Costa Rica, he's offering guitar classes. He says, I want to offer basic guitar lessons to a person who speaks English. Then, while he or she learns to play guitar, I learn English. Ooh. Two for one, baby. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love That's it. really Beautiful. cool. Beautiful guitar man. You know, we had we had the blessing at your birthday party yesterday of having some really great musicians in the guitar and to me it's one of the most beautiful blessings ever to learn to play an instrument yeah. and and hear and see the passion of guitar and other instruments. Yeah. We had also we had a violinist is that how you say that? Yeah. yeah. A violinist last night. So beautiful and just a great, great combo of great musical artists. So if you're watching anyone who uh graced us with your amazing musical presence last night. Thank you for that so much. Uh, so guitar lessons, yeah. free on seize, Karma Tribe. Seize the opportunity and you yeah. could be uh, the life of the party in a few months. Absolutely. Next, we have a favor from Nikki3482 from Hako requesting how to start a clothing line. 
Interesting, Dave. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Tell me uh, more. Nikki says, I have a great new idea for a clothing line, but I don't know how to go about it. Could anyone sit down and chat with me someday? Cool. Aww. Cool. That's a favor that makes you want to just hug the person. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that's really sweet that that, that that person requested that, requested help with starting her business. I'm going to go ahead and assume it's a her. Okay. Nikki. Fair enough. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully someone can help her. Yeah, I'd like to see the new clothing. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Someone with entrepreneurial spirit. A startup. That's so awesome. Very cool. What do we got next? Is it the last one? Next. Yes, this is our Ooh. last one. Okay, we have we have Andrew Blair in Alajuela, Costa Rica, in person or online, offering e-commerce. That's right, e-commerce. E he says, "I'll teach you e-commerce, the drop shipping method." What is that? I don't know. It's very intriguing. It sounds like a good way to make a lot of money online. Sounds decent. Wow. Yeah. I have no idea what that is, but I am definitely curious. I'm going to look into this. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so that's much really for cool. this cool favors. Wow. Imagine what? having a little business from home. That's pretty much the best uh, the best situation ever. So yeah. someone should seize this favor. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, Guys. Jackie. What, what a, a show day. today. What a day. What a show. What a world of blessings and bliss. <sighs> it's been really fun. Guys, thank you for joining us. If you haven't checked out Karma Tribe already, um, check us out, karmatribe.com. We are trying to change the world in a positive way. We are trying to open doors of abundance for you through a favor, uh, gifting, giving and sharing your passions, meeting awesome people. It has been the most amazing experience being part of this awesome project Dave so I have to say thank you so much um, check us out karmatribe.com happy birthday to this guy 30 years 30 yep. 30 30 30 more and more and more years you're gonna just continue to be so much more wise and amazing and contribute to this beautiful karma tribe world and touch the hearts of everyone that you meet man blessings to thank you, you very it's much, a pleasure Jackie. man such yeah. an honor and a privilege to be your friend I appreciate all the positive energy you bring to the world and Representing Karma Tribe far and wide. Uh, I'm really excited for next weekend to be at Envision Festival in Costa Rica. Yes. If any of our viewers are going to that, we'll see you there. We'll be yeah. giving away uh, ice water, fruit. We're giving away two workshops. Yes. Giving workshops, rather. Uh, the power of generosity and heart-centered entrepreneurship. So, Can't wait. So excited to speak yeah, to that's the... that's going to be really awesome. The Envisionaries. And we're going to get a lot of people signed up for Karma Tribe. And so hopefully in 10 days, we'll have a thousand new members. Fantastic. That's my little objective. I love it. So, yeah. Thank you to everyone who's a part of this project for offering and requesting things from your heart. Yes. And Thank uh, you, guys. Truly. It's such a pleasure. Pleasure to be tuning in on Blissin' Out every yeah, Sunday. Guys. And uh, Thanks so much. Remember... Withhold judgment when bad things happen to you because there could be a blessing in disguise in there. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, perspective is power a powerful of per thing. Power of perspective, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Take an eagle eye. Take an eagle eye perspective on your life and give it time. Gain perspective. Gain positivity. And, and take, it, take it upon yourself to change your perspective and make your life a better, yeah. a better journey. It's always available. Well, uh, it's been so fun and so nice. Thank you guys so much for tuning yeah. in. Pleasure to be back. Thank you to all the fans. You guys rock. And let's spread the love. KarmaTribe.com. Hug someone today. Smile at someone. Give them a compliment. Enjoy life. Yes. Have a fantastic day, friends. And uh, many blessings to you. Bliss out, guys. Bliss out. Bliss out. Ciao, ciao.